Hello? Captain, here's your water. Okay, fine. In the cockpit, the buzzer sounds for three seconds. The captain pulls the toggle switch and maintains it in the unlock position. The green light on the code pad comes on, access is allowed. The amber open light comes on when the door is opened. Thank you. But what happens when the purser does not apply the normal procedure for requesting cockpit access? I don't think this is the normal procedure. I prefer to lock the door. Do you agree? Yeah, I do. It's a bit suspicious. The captain moves the toggle switch to the lock position. The open light remains extinguished. Now if we look at the code pad, the red LED is lit, confirming the door is locked. This example shows how to proceed in the case of crew incapacitation. Captain? Captain? Do you read me? It's Sally. Obtaining no response, she decides to use the emergency access procedure. On the code pad, she enters the emergency code, then presses the hash key. This triggers the timer for 30 seconds. The green LED on the code pad flashes, indicating imminent unlocking. In the cockpit, the buzzer sounds continuously, and the open light flashes, also indicating imminent unlocking. When the elapsed time is over, with no action from the cockpit crew, the door goes into unlocking sequence for five seconds. The green LED on the code pad remains steady. The open light comes on for five seconds during the unlocking sequence, and the buzzer stops, indicating the door is unlocked. The purser now has five seconds to enter the cockpit.